everybody, it is I, Captain Oblivious Mist, and today we're going to be doing the complete history of the Celtic. Yes, the Celtic. We've done it. We've finally done it. After many, 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 many months, we have finally covered the entirety of the Oceanic class. This is the final part of the Oceanic class, and chances are, the way that the video vote is looking so far, the next class of ships we'll be covering is the Kaiser class, so stay tuned for that. And I am considering on covering the Saxonia 1954 class um, alongside the Kaiser class, so you know. Uh, but anyway, it's enough blabbering on, as let's get into the conclusion of this series. As this is the final part of the series, I'll try to keep this brief so I don't bore you for the sixth time in a row with the same details. But in the 1860s, a man named Thomas Ismay bought an all but defunct shipping line, and after a game of billiards, he would possess a class of four ships. These ships were the Oceanic, Atlantic, Baltic and Republic, and these revolutionary ships would prove to be popular. And this led to the White Star Line to order the construction of another two ships in this class. These ships were to be called the Adriatic and the Arctic. The Arctic was going to look like her older sisters, just slightly sized up. She was also to be powered by a four-cylinder tandem steam engine that was fueled by 12 single-ended boilers, giving her a surface speed of 14 knots. One thing of note that happened in a construction process was the changing of the Arctic's name from Arctic to Celtic as the SS Arctic was the name of a Collins liner that was lost in a tragic wrecking in 1854, which for obvious reasons would make naming the White Star Line's new ship Arctic a stupid decision. Now, as for the construction process itself, which, unlike many other ships in the Oceanic class, was uneventful, as she was launched without event on the 8th of June 1872, and by October of the same year, the Celtic was ready for her maiden voyage. The Celtic's maiden voyage would begin on the 24th of October 1872. This kick-started the Celtic's accident-prone career, as in January of 1873, the Celtic had a collision with some wreckage, which led to the Celtic's propeller blades going screw this, I'm off, and to detach from the Celtic. This meant that the White Star Line's Gaelic had to come and tow the Celtic back to port. Then, a few years later, in 1877, Celtic rescued the crew of an American schooner, which saw her commanding officer receive a personal thanks from the then US President, Ulysses S. Grant. Then, in 1880, the Celtic had someone who had become very popular and famous join her crew. This was Captain Edward John Smith, the future captain of the RMS Cli I mean Titanic. He would join the Celtic's crew as a fourth officer, and during his first year in 1881, Celtic rescued the crew of a wrecked brigantine, but her most notable moment was right around the corner. Her most notable moment came on the 19th of May 1887, when the Celtic was sailing through fog on a crossing to New York, when off the coast of Sandy Hook, New Jersey, she collided with the SS Britannic. Or as my girlfriend calls her, <clears throat> the tiny ship! This was a mess as the Celtic had buried herself inside of the Britannic and would continue to smash into the Britannic side a few more times before breaking free. Now, before I continue describing this incident, I'd just like to take the moment to say when I first read the Celtic buried herself in the Britannic, my first thought wasn't a collision, and now I really ship them. <laughs> Wait, no, that pun was an accident, I swear! Anyways, enough with the accidental puns, as these two star-crossed love the I mean ships would stay together through the night, and was even joined by two other ships, and together these four ships sailed into New York. And after this incident, the Celtic would sail for the White Star Line for another five years before being sold to the Fingvala Line. After this, she was renamed to America, and put on to the Copenhagen to New York route. Unfortunately, the America would not prove successful on this route, due to her being too big. 
This ultimately led to her being sold off for scrap and broken up in 1899, bringing an end to the final ship of the Oceanic class. Hello everybody, it is I, Captain Oblivious Mist, and I am back with another epilogue, and I'm also back with the final epilogue of the Oceanic class. Uh, if you're unaware, uh, there will be a compilation of these videos uploaded soon, similar to how I did with the campaign in Lucania and with the Big Four. Um, as well as that, uh, d depending on when this video is released, because it could be released before or after Scotia, uh, if it's released before Scotia, hopefully the Scotia video wouldn't be too far off in the production and should hopefully be out shortly after this one. If it's out after Scotia, then hopefully my next video will be on the SS Great Eastern? Yeah, Great Eastern. You said Great Britain then. But yeah, um, apart from that, that's all I've really got to say. Of, uh, actually, no, 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 one more thing I've got to say. One more thing. Um, for those of you who have not checked my community tab uh, recently, uh, I have actually made a little bit of a cipher for a little thing I've been working on in the background. Uh, I will say, though, uh, the spellings is very, 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 very dodgy. Uh, just gonna put that out there. So if you read it and you're like, wait a minute, there's a spelling mistake. Yeah, one of my viewers got it and then highlighted the spelling mistake, and um, I just can't be bothered to fix it, to be fair. He's <laughs> even given me the corrected version of it, I just, mm, it just adds to the personality of the joke at this stage. So yes, it, <clears throat> for those of you who have not deciphered it, uh, go and check that out now, you'll have a good laugh about my mistake in spelling. It's kind of obvious what it still is. You know. Anyways, enough blabbering on as I need to get back to my next video and I bet you still all have things to do. So, thank you for watching everyone and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.